Hello guys, Softoni here, welcome to another video lesson and in this tutorial we're going to create this awesome and creative circle transition. So stay with me until the end of the video and we will create this uh, awesome transition step by step like always. Also I want to thank you for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon so you will always be notified whenever I post a new clip. Okay, uh, let's see what we will create today. Alright, we're back here in After Effects and our first step like always is to create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or go to this uh, little icon here and for the composition name we will rename it to Circle Transition uh, with 9020 by 1080 make sure that your frame rate is set to 60 and duration it's ok, uh, maybe about 6 seconds Hit OK and our next step is to create a solid layer, right click here in our timeline, go to new and then click here solid. We will rename it background of course, hit OK or enter on your keyboard and it's time to add our first effect here in our fi uh, finals. Uh, go and type gradient tramp, drag and drop onto our background layer. And now it's time to make a few adjustments here uh, in our gradient ramp effect. For this start of frame go around here, for the end of frame go to around here. And you can also choose here specific colors uh, that you like, but I will use uh, blue, co uh, blue colors for this particular tutorial. As you have already noticed, I really, I really like these uh, blue uh, types uh, of colors, like so. And our next step is going to be to duplicate this background layer. Hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Hit F3 once again. And now we can delete this gradient ramp. We will add another effect. Also we will rename it to grid. OK. Go here in effects and preset and type grid. Drag and drop onto our grid layer. and. Here it's a time to make also a few adjustments. For this size choose a width slider and for this uh, width go around 10, border to around 1 and opacity maybe around 20%. Ok, now it's time to create a circle here in our circle transition. Uh, go to here or hit Q on your keyboard. Also. Uh, while you're holding your left mouse button, you can see this pop-up menu and choose Ellipse Tool. Go to uh, our composition, our uh, cir circle transition and also hold Control Shift and um, create a circle like so. And while I'm holding this Control and Shift, I will also uh, hold Spacebar to rep reposition our circle uh, to fit here like so until it goes beyond our composition borders like so. Ok, now it's time to um, hit enter here on our shape layer 01 and I will rename it circle 01. Also uh, hit on this circle 01, hold control on your keyboard and double click here on pen behind to uh, center this anchor point. Ok, now go to 1 seconds and 30 frames. Hit S on your keyboard and uh, create a first keyframe like so. Go to around 0 frames and for this scale go to around 0. Also next thing what we're gonna do is to grab those two keyframes. Hit F9 and draw a curve like this. Ok, our next step is to add a fill effects here on our cir circle 01. Go to effects and preset type fill and drag and drop onto our circle 01 layer and I will do for this circle 01 white color for this first one. Also now when we hit 0 we have this basic circle animation like so. Ok, now it's time to add another effect here on our circle 01. Find Venetian blinds. Ok, and drag and drop onto a layer and for this uh, transition completion we will do around 3%. For direction go to around 50 
and for this uh, width leave to around 20. Now we have this uh, really cool Venetian blinds effect. Okay, uh, now it's time to duplicate this circle 01, control plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Okay, move this circle 01 to around 10 frames like so. Uh, delete this Venetian blinds and for the second color I will do this uh, dark blue. Okay, also uh, go to circle 01 again, control plus D, move this circle 03 like so and go to around 20 frames for this circle 03 and for the fill color I will do maybe this kind of blue, something like this. Hit OK. And now it's time to uh, duplicate this circle 01 once again, hit Ctrl plus D, move the circle 04 to around here and uh, drag it to around 30 frames. And now we have an animation like so. Also, we will change color for the circle 04, hit F3 to see this effect control and I will do light blue colors for this final circle like so. Now when we hit zero, we have something like this. Okay, uh, our next step is to duplicate this circle 04, hit F3, delete uh, this fill effect and also Venetian blinds and we will rename this uh, circle 05 to matte. Also close this effects control and I will drag and drop my media here. I have uh, my footage from uh, Pexels.com. Of course, you will, you will import your own. I will drag this media 01 here in our finals and for this track mat I will do alpha mat. If you can't see this, uh, those track mats, just hit here or uh, on expand or collapse this little icon. Now when we hit zero we have this really cool and easy and creative animation. Okay. Now what we can do is to grab all of those our layers, hit Ctrl plus A on your keyboard and then right click and then pre-compose. We will rename it to slide 01, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition, hit OK and as you can see now we have uh, this slide 01 uh, composition. You can also uh, change colors here, right click and I will choose purple for now. Also if you want you can hit Ctrl plus K and for duration set up around maybe around 20 seconds, it's up to you. Uh, and then you can duplicate this slide 01, Ctrl plus D, move it to around maybe two or three seconds. Go here, also duplicate here in our uh, project files and then hold Alt on your keyboard, move it to our slide 01 go here and then just drag and drop this uh, media 02 on our media 01 and now in our circle transition we have this cool and creative slideshow all right guys uh hope you learned something new from this tutorial uh, this was a uh, really easy to create step-by-step -step, uh, video lesson. Take a look on my profile for even more great tutorials. Also, if you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Also, hit that like button for this video. Also, comment if you want. And until next time, stay creative and bye-bye.